しにさそうと争点かける日輪の青春の吐き麗しく輝く技だぞおさかたいだ Tony here.、Uh, so I've had a pretty busy last week or so, last couple of weeks.、Uh, a last week or so、uh, heavily involving、uh, the team、uh, I'm wearing on my jersey right now、uh, and my hat,、uh, the Hanshin Tigers.、Um, I went to, first, I went to the Osaka, Kobe, Hyogo area. Uh, in western Japan, where the Tigers play.、Uh, I saw a Tigers game at、uh, the historical Koshien Stadium.、Uh, if you don't know anything about Koshien,、uh, it is by,、um, I would say, popular accounts or perception, kind of the cathedral of Japanese baseball. It's kind of the most、uh, historical stadium. Uh, and it's also the place where they have not only the Tigers play there, but they also have the、uh, high school, prestigious high school baseball tournaments there、uh, in spring, or is it fall? But the summer one is the big one. They do two a year.、Uh, it's kind of like Japanese March Madness、uh, with high school baseball teams, and they play at Koshien. So, anyway,、uh, I did see the Tigers. They did lose. Uh, I get kind of a hookup every year. I get nice seats. I know someone who knows someone、uh, who has season tickets. And so I, you know, I always save my tickets. So this is the season seat、uh, ticket that I saved.、Uh, I also, because I'm such a VIP, I got a towel as like a free gift. So, a free gift, right? As opposed to a gift you have to pay for.、Uh, so, my camera, of course, is backward, but it says 2023 season seat with the logo there. I got a similar one of these last year, but it was gray. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's not because my camera's mirrored, it's because I had the towel on the wrong way.、Um, so, there's that. And I also picked up.、Uh, These little player badges.、Uh, these are kind of like cards. So these are little tin badges of players、uh, that come in these little packs. You get one per pack. So it's kind of like cards. I bought a couple packs.、Uh, and these are the players I got.、Uh, I got Yusuke Oyama,、uh, who's a slugger on the team. And then. I was happy to get like, one of my favorite Tigers, Koji Chikamoto, who's the center fielder.、Uh, and he's like a little guy, but he's like, really speedy. And it's kind of funny. I like how they, they show him with like, speedy little feet, kind of like he's Sonic the Hedgehog or something. So, yeah, these are pretty cool. They have little details that kind of like, express the player's personality or playing style. So, that's pretty cool. Got two of those. So, yeah, like I said, the Tigers lost.、Um, they always do. Like, whenever I go to games, it's kind of my curse. But, anywho,、uh, I got back from Koshien. I got back from the Osaka area. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting a fellow YouTuber,、uh, our friend Robert from Prestige Collectibles. We met up、uh, around the time when I got back. And we, you know, we met up for a couple hours, chatted about this and that, cards, Japan, you name it.、Um, and he surprised me with quite a special gift.、Uh, you saw it at the beginning of the video when the song was playing.、Uh, but he gave me, <laughs> still can't believe this, but he gave me this now. 
these are uh, these two players. So this is on the left there uh, is Fumio Fujimura, uh, and on the right is his brother Takao. Now you may have heard me talk about Fumio Fujimura before. Uh, he's one of my favorite, uh, I guess you could say, historical or Japanese old timers uh, baseball players. Uh, he was a two-way player. He pitched and was a position player. He was also a player manager for a time. Uh, and I've talked about him before. Uh, if you want to learn more about Fujimura in, in earnest, or uh, I highly recommend, I'll put the link in the description of this video. There's a kind of mini little documentary uh, about Fujimura, uh, his life and career. So if you want to learn more about him, uh, do watch that. So like I said, I'll put the link in the description. So rather than kind of rehash it here, I've talked about him before. But anyway, uh, so this is signed uh, quite unbelievably. And compared to some other guys, for example, like Sadaharu O, oh, uh, Fujimura, Fujimura died in the 90s, early 90s, and his signature is not very easy to obtain. Um, Robert, thank you again, man. This is just, it just blows me away. Uh, so anyway, and this is Fujimura's brother, Takao, uh, who was a pitcher for the Tigers, uh, and a pretty good pitcher, too. Uh, I think Takao had a sub-3 ERA, uh, and he won almost... 100 games uh, for the Tigers. So so that's that, man. I still uh, can't really get over this. Uh, crazy stuff. Um, do check out Robert's channel. Uh, I believe you can find him at Prestige Collectibles Japanese Cards on YouTube. Uh, he's an auctioneer, uh, so you can check out his website. Uh, really, really recommend it. Um, if you have any interest in Japanese cards or Japan in general, um, yeah, reach out to Robert, uh, you know, check out his auctions, uh, great guy and great YouTube channel too. So, um, so I'm just going to show you guys a couple more of my Fujimura cards. Well, actually the first one is not a card at all, uh, but I really like this one. Uh, this is like a autograph book, uh, so it's kind of like almost like a, a Tiger's sort of humorously misspelled on the front there. Uh, I don't know, maybe this is not an official piece of merchandise, uh, because I don't think official Tiger's merchandise would misspell their own name. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. But So this is Fujimura on the inside, so this was never used. Uh, seems like kind of a maybe a combo scorecard uh, autograph book. So this is really colorful and bright. Uh, the back is cool too. Uh, I have this, um, one of my favorite Fujimura cards. Uh, this is, well, most of these I cannot date them precisely, but um, really like the image on there. This one's cool because, uh, so here's Fujimura, but I also have the other card. Uh, when I bought these, uh, it came as a set, and actually you can put these cards together uh, and they create uh, one scene, so pretty cool. And actually, speaking of Robert, uh, I had gotten one of these, uh, I forget which one, I want to say I got this one, uh, and then Robert was kind enough to send me another version of the same card. Uh, this was, I want to say, a couple years ago. Uh, so I have two versions of this card. So the backs are, one is a blank back, uh, and one has this cool like lion design on it. Uh, and then on the front, you can see that the other difference is... Uh, one of them it has a blank circle up there, uh, and then one of them says Sanri, which means third base. I'm losing the focus, aren't I? Uh, so they're pretty much identical otherwise, but those two differences, the picture is the same. And I don't recall 
uh, if there was a reason for that or if it's a mystery. I think one of them might have been a test or something like that, but uh, do not recall. Uh, and then I've got another nice Menko uh, of Fujimura here. Um, by the way, I have actually been to Fujimura's hometown. Uh, he is from a port city called Kure, uh, and that is near Hiroshima. So this one's pretty cool. Uh, it's got a kettle on the back. Uh, this is a, a pretty nice likeness of him uh, on this card, right? Like, a lot of times, these old Menko cards and stuff, the the player likeness on them is, you know, pretty crude. Um, but this one's nice. A little die-cut action. Uh, and then I got a couple more here, so... Uh, these two circular Menkos, so... I should say a little bit, actually, about this jersey that I'm wearing, too. Um, so this is actually a custom jersey uh, that I kind of sort of made myself. Uh, so you can see here on the bottom, uh, that is the kanji, wow, that's the kanji for Tiger, Torah. And then inside there it says something like, Invincible King of Beasts. It's very uh, dramatic in a very particularly Japanese way. Uh, and then you saw the back of the jersey uh, at the start of the video. Um, so the back there, uh, that says Moko Shingeki, <laughs> which is kind of a, I guess it's kind of a slogan. It, it basically means something like Fierce Tiger Divine Attack. <laughs> so some of these that you can't really translate them very well. Um, but, uh, sh Shingeki actually is, on the jersey, is a, a bit of a made-up word. It's kind of a pun, almost. Uh, the word Shingeki means, like, an advance or an attack, uh, but they changed the first character out of the word for the god character, so it, it basically means something like divine attack, which is, um, yeah, uh, kind of over the top, and, uh, but Tigers fans are great, uh, they're very passionate, um, and they wear jerseys like this, these sort of wild custom jerseys with patches, and they've got ly lyrics to the fight song, some of them. Like, no two jerseys are the same. Uh, mine, I actually put, like, you know, I put, like, an American flag and a Japanese flag on it uh, to give it kind of, like, my own little touch and stuff like that, so... Uh, and then, of course, uh, I got the logo here. So this is an away jersey. Uh, okay, uh, one more tidbit. Uh, so they are called the Hanshin Tigers, uh, which, like uh, most Japanese teams, is the name of a co the company that owns the team. Uh, the Hanshin Electric Railway uh, is a railway company that owns the team. However... Uh, Hanshin is kind of a generic word, too. Uh, it essentially refers to Osaka and Kobe, uh, that area, uh, which is kind of like where, around where the Tigers play. So, anyway, guys, uh, that's all from me for today. As always, thanks for watching. Peace.